Elizabeth Garrett Anderson was a pioneering feminist born in Whitechapel, London, in 1836. Today would have been her 180th birthday, and Google has marked the occasion with a doodle on its home page. Here are four facts about her that you probably didn't know. She was the first English woman to qualify as a physician and surgeon in Britain. Garrett began her medical training by becoming a surgery nurse at Middlesex Hospital in 1860. Her success in this role led to her attending an outpatient's clinic and then her first operation. After being denied the chance to enroll in the hospital's medical school she hired a private tutor to learn anatomy and physiology. Garrett was able to gain her qualifications as a surgeon via a loophole in admissions for the Society of Apothecaries. Its charter forbade excluding her on account of her sex, and Garrett eventually qualified to practice medicine in 1865. The society immediately amended its regulations to prevent other women from obtaining a medical license. She was the first dean of a British medical school. In 1874, Garrett co-founded the London School of Medicine, the only teaching hospital in Britain to offer places to women. She worked there for the rest of career, and was dean from 1883 to 1902. The school later became part of what is now the medical school at University College London. She was first female doctor of medicine in France. On hearing that the dean of the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Sorbonne, Paris was in favor of admitting women as medical students, Garrett studied French so that she could apply for a medical degree, which she obtained in 1870 after some difficulty. As mayor of Alderborough, she was the first female magistrate in Britain. In 1871 Garrett married James George Skelton, and in 1907 they retired to Alderborough in Suffolk. She was was elected mayor of the coastal town in November 1908, a position previously held by her father. She died there in December 1917.